Shot Jin here. Um, this is my 200th video. So I thought I would shout out and say hello to some subscribers and uh, just basically thank uh, my subscribers for all the insight that they've uh, lent to me and all the stuff that I've learned from them. Uh, I started collecting music when I was about 15 and uh, found that I was just getting into older and older music. Uh, I never had any period phonograph or anything to play them on um, until about five, six years ago. And uh, I had been watching videos on YouTube for a while of songs and uh, learning a lot of stuff about vocalists and pseudonyms and all sorts of, all the crazy stuff that goes along with collecting these these older records and uh, Victrola Jazz um, is a channel. Um, some of you might know him as Eddie. Uh, he has a great channel. Um, that really was the channel that inspired me to make my channel. Uh, just because I wanted to share music that I liked and try to find good copies of, of songs that I really enjoyed to share. So. Um, it's, it's hard for me to realize I've already been posting videos to YouTube for like four years now. Um, but in that time, I've been able to meet uh, really cool people that have taught me so much about collecting and restoration and uh, really just the what's what of, of this hobby. So I just wanted to... Uh, do some shout outs to some YouTube friends, um, especially Victrola Jazz uh, for really inspiring me to do this channel and uh, to learn more about the music of the teens, 20s, and 30s really and how it all affected music that was later and uh, it's all the, the interesting socioeconomic and cultural things that are tied into music of the past. It, it's all fascinating uh, for me. So I wanted to thank Multi Martini Man. Uh, he might have one of the best diamond disc jazz collections on, on YouTube. Um, just some really fun stuff. If you haven't seen his channel, I highly suggest checking it out. Um, and I've been lucky enough to be able to restore reproducers for Multi Martini Man. We have shared records and, uh, you know, really, I think I learned a lot from him and, and he says he learned stuff from me. So that's, uh, I guess that's what this social networking thing is all about. So uh, I'd like to say hi to Ricardo Ordorica. Uh, he's in Monterey and uh, him and I have very similar taste in music, I think. Um, so it's always interesting to see the next thing that he's gonna gonna share, and uh, he also has you know wonderful jazz on cylinders, which is always fun. Um, I guess really uh, with this video, I wanted to say hi to people and uh, you know share my uh, my passion for for music. It all started with the music. Um, so, I'd like to say hi to Randy Knight, who uh, I am friends with on, on Facebook, along with, with other people. I've recently got a Facebook. I've had it for maybe not even a year now. And uh, I didn't want to, but I'm glad that I did now because I, I can be in touch with people in a different way. And uh, I'm actually friends with more people that are my subscribers on YouTube than I am with actually you know, people that I see in day-to-day -day life, which, you know, is probably, probably better in the long run. Um, I wanted to say hi to Tink and Raymond T. Vinyl. Um, if you haven't seen Sideshow Tink's channel or uh, Raymond T. Vinyl's channel, you're really missing out because they have stuff to share from the 20s all the way to the 60s, 70s, and, and even some stuff from the 80s. I mean, just a, a huge breadth of, of unique 
music and advertising records and just really fun stuff. Um, I always enjoy watching Tink's videos where she shares her recent music scores and uh, and Raymond as well. So and I've also learned a lot from from watching their videos and being able to talk with them. And I was lucky enough to be able to meet them a few times at the uh, at the Wayne New Jersey Phonograph Show, which I'm sure that some people watching this uh, were just at the the show that had just passed. And uh, so it's nice to be able to meet people that I am commenting on their videos and they're commenting on my videos and we talk and we learn and, and then I get to meet people. So that that's really cool for me. Um, especially in a hobby where I haven't been able to find a lot of people, I guess, uh, you know, a lot of people my own age, it's hard to find people that are into this, but I, I realize that age just doesn't matter, you know, as long as you're passionate about something and you're interested in it, there's, there's always going to be people there that are, that are willing to help you along the way, and, uh, and that's what I am thankful for, uh, so basically, you know, doing this video, and uh, I wanted to say hi to Amberola1B, uh, he has an excellent channel, uh, probably it's hard to say what my favorite channel is, but he, he's definitely up there on one of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel yet, um, I, I suggest you do so. I'm going to put some links of some of my favorite bits from, from YouTube uh, below the video here. And uh, he just has stuff from songs that, that you know, he thinks are cool things to share, and, you know, neat pieces of music, all the way up to how to totally tear apart a machine and restore it. Uh, electric radios and uh, acoustic phonographs and record cutting machines and, and he goes through step by step. It's, it's, really, it's really fun. His channel is really fun. So uh, I wanted to say hi to Jack Payne fan who is in England and uh, he has a wonderful collection great stuff that I never would have, would have even known existed. Um, stuff on, on British labels and uh, the unusual paper discs and just really neat stuff. A lot of his videos in the background, you know, you can see his perfectly organized record collection, which is just, I love. I wish I could be that organized. I have stuff just piled up anywhere. And when I find it and I like it, then if it's in good enough shape, I'll post it on my channel. So, you know, maybe one day, one day I'll be as organized as Jack Payne fan. So, um, I wanted to say hi also to Paul of Paul's Records. Uh, he has a really fun channel. Introduced me to vocalists, especially that I would have never heard of if it wasn't for his channel. And, uh, just a really nice guy. He, he always responds very, uh, you know, he pays a lot of attention to, to, to what's going on and, and my comments, and I really appreciate that. And he seems to be really involved and enjoy what, what he, he's doing. And uh, like I said, I've learned a lot from him as well as, as so many others uh, from YouTube. Um, I wanted to say hi to Stephen Madra, who I get to see once a year at the the phonograph show, or really whenever whenever I can make the show. Uh, I wasn't there last year. Uh, but he makes these beautiful glass horns for Edison cylinder machines. And uh, if you haven't seen them yet, they're very impressive. And I, I'm going to try to put a link uh, to his YouTube below. Uh, he has videos of his machines with these glass horns that he has made. And they're just, they're stunning. Uh, so they're definitely worth worth looking at and, and hearing. Um, and I wanted to say hi to Timo Hovenkamp uh, of the YouTube channel Timo Gramophone. Uh, he probably has some of the best recorded early music that I, I've personally ever heard on, on YouTube. Uh, brown wax cylinders, early one-sided Victors and Berliner records that I don't know what he's doing, but they're, they're just perfect, clean, transcribed, you know, recordings of these great early songs, and uh, that that's also one of my, my favorite channels. So, uh, thank you, Timo, and uh, 
last but not least, I wanted to say hi to my friend John Engels, who's been collecting not not as long as as maybe some of the rest of the people on on YouTube here, uh, but he has had a channel for probably almost two years now, and uh, it's just neat to be able to. I consider myself kind of like an amateur uh, as far as the collecting goes, even though I like to rebuild motors and reproducers and stuff. So, but it's nice because uh, with John I get to talk about stuff, and sometimes we don't, you know, know what's something or another thing, but. We're quickly finding out that through YouTube we can learn a lot about personnel on records and uh, what machines are what and what to watch out for when we're trying to maybe buy a machine or or looking for something by a certain vocalist uh, and all the pseudonyms. Like I said earlier, you know, I just I've learned so much from my fellow subscribers and uh, for those of you that don't have. YouTube channels per se that just like to tune in and watch and listen to my music. I thank you, and uh, it's just I have like 223 subscribers now. Yeah, so I just got another one just two days ago. Um, so I might not have as many as Honey Boo Boo, but you know, I guess I just need to eat more cake or some shit like that. But anyway, I just wanted to say hi to people. Uh, I wanted to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I'm going to have a little sip here. But basically, um, I love the music. I'm glad that you subscribed to me and enjoy the stuff I've put up in the past. I've sang songs for you guys a couple times. I uh, have a video that I posted up a while ago of me playing the, the pump organ. And... Uh, Everyone seems to to enjoy and have positive things to say, so and constructive things which I can learn from, which I'm always excited to to learn more about what I love. So um, I'm going to leave you with a song that I got at the Wayne, New Jersey Phonograph Show. It's a cameo, and it's the Seven Little Polar Bears with Tom Stack singing uh, "Don't Take That Black Bottom Away." So, have a good one. Cheers. This is Fox Truck Jin signing off. See ya. Thank you.